The big tantrum happened in front of LA City Hall. Thousands gathered to protest the city's mandate that all public employees vaccinate themselves against COVID-19, or lose their jobs. Many of the assembled employees, including police officers and firefighters, owe their taxpayer-funded paychecks to the city's alphabet soup of important public agencies, the MTA, the DWP, the LAPD, LIST and LAFD. Some wore hats touting the extremist Proud Boys. At least one person held a sign in support of the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Rally-goers held placards that hailed freedom of choice, assailed Mayor Eric Garcetti, claimed vaccines were toxic, and cited various constitutional amendments to justify their stance. American flags emblazoned with singular blue and red stripes, a representation of the idea that law enforcement and firefighters are the thin lines of defense that keep societies from descending into chaos, flapped all around. The public workers gathered to protest but also to offer a threat to the rest of us who are ready to quit over this vaccine mandate. And if that happens, L will suffer. It's basic math, a self-identified firefighter named Chris told one of my colleagues who covered the rally. Response times are going to go up if they have to fire all of us. And it came just days after Al County Sheriff Alex Villanueva held a press conference to ominously warn the rule would create an imminent threat to public safety because so many of his deputies, only 42% of them are fully vaccinated, want to leave the force because of it. All this jibber-jabbering over, well, a jab brought back college memories of a bad novel once gifted to me by either a faculty member, a friend with dubious taste, or a foe.